Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's another gas session today. We're looking at genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles. Um, starting from the 22nd of February 22, which uh, has been recorded on this puzzle as 22 to 22. You might have expected a palindrome puzzle, but no, it is a crop key puzzle. But anyway, we'll look at the puzzles in a moment. Uh, don't forget all our content on Patreon, on Discord, um, well, not our content on Discord, but all sorts of people's content on Discord. There's so much stuff there. It's brilliant. Um, we've got content on our apps and uh, on Sven's Sudoku pad and we've got designs and logos on our merchandise. So check it all out on the links under the video. The first five links will be to today's genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles from the Daily Sudoku channel. And they're by Philip Newman, Sam Kaplan Lines and Clover. And they're great introductions to rule sets that we use a fair amount on the channel. So this first one, I'll go through the rules of all of them. Then I'm gonna take them on against the clock. Uh, that's how we do these guess puzzles. Five days worth in a video. Uh, you can try them all on the links under the video, of course. Now, here we have Digits in cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive, so there's consecutive digits there. Those in cells separated by a black dot must have a ratio of two to one. Um, there's not a negative constraint. Other pairs of digits in the puzzle may be consecutive or have that ratio. So that's the first one by Philip. And the next one, oh, rank Sudoku by Clover. Uh, no repeated digits in a cage. Each cage contains some gray numbers with uh, hashtag signs, these tell you the rank of the value in that cell compared to all of the other values in the cage. So the digit in the number one cell must be the lowest in its cage and the digit in the number two must be the second lowest in its cage, etc. So, okay, it's a bit, I don't know, it makes me think of constellations where the stars are alpha, beta, gamma based on brightness. Don't know why. Uh, then we have arrow Sudoku. Numbers along an arrow must add up to the total in the adjoining circle. So those two add up to seven, apparently. We've give, uh, Sam's given us totals in all the circles, which is kind. Uh, Thermoboros, based on Thermo and Uruboros, that strange circular design, I think, by Philip. Um, so it's a Thermo Sudoku. Digits along Thermos must increase from the bulb to the tip all the way. And then we're going to finish with Box Battle by Clover. All right, so normal Sudoku rules apply. Long time since I did a box battle. At each border between two three by three regions, so this counts as a border, and there are two three by three regions there. And then we're told the result of the battle between them. Um, so if the inequality shines show that a region is greater than its neighbor, then that region has the greater digit in at least two out of the three pairs, but not necessarily all three. So the example that's given in the rules that come with the puzzle is that um, consider this region between, I oh know, this region between boxes one and four. If it was to contain, well, I mean, it couldn't in this case, but if it had five, four, eight above two, seven, three, five would beat two. 4 would lose to 7, but 8 would beat 3. So these signs would be the right way around. They would be showing the greater force is on the top. So that's a really interesting rule set. I mean, just get your head around that before you try the puzzle. Um, and the battles may be won by two or all three armies fighting each other. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. So I'm going to actually sort of fill this in maybe slightly varying Clover's example. So let's say, well, it's difficult, but okay, let, let's, I, I can't do it so that it will work for the whole puzzle. But if you consider those three, this is her example is five beats three and two beats one, but four loses to seven. So overall, this army is the victor and they have the greater than in the V, so in, in the greater than less than sign. So that would be right there. Okay, well, that's that's going to be interesting. A strange subject for a genuinely approachable, but we'll see how it goes when we get there. I'm going to start the clock each time so I know how I'm doing on mine. Let's get cracking. Okay. 
Okay, so that's a one, two, four, eight sequence with one eight on the outside, two four on the inside. Now that can't be a one because it would have a two on both sides of it. So we know the order. These are seven or nine. This is even and must connect with seven or nine. So now it's got to be a six. But that can have five or seven there, five there. This is three and nine, but nine can't be on a black dot. So that black dot's done. That has to be an eight. And then that is seven or nine. Now that's interesting. This is either two, one or three, six. If it was 2, 1, that would have to be a 4, and that would be a 1. Oh, in fact, yes, it, this digit is in between two others, so that has to be 2 or 4. So it is 2, 1. There we go. Um, this can't be a 6, 3. Therefore, all of these are from 1, 2, 4, 8. Those must include a 4. I don't know quite how to characterize the other possibilities there. This one can't be four or two or three. So it's one, six or eight. One would need a two, six would need a three, eight would need a four. Ah, uh, this is not the right way to do this. Okay, that's not a three or a six. So these are a one, two, four, eight group set as well. In fact, one, two, four, eight, all see this. So that's on a three, six dot. Right. So that's five. That's now four. Doesn't tell me whether that's two or eight. But this is now one or four. That is now two or eight. This is now one or four. Oh, that's a one because there's a four in the box. So two there, two there. Doesn't resolve this. This can't be a two, so that's not a one. Um, crumbs. It's a really interesting puzzle. Oh, that's a naked nine. There we go. Three there. That can't be five anymore. So that, that's fixing all of the row five. Four there. And a one, two pair. So that's not eight. Um, seven, six pair out here. That can't be three, six because of that pair looking at that cell. So there is a four on it. And this can't be one, two or have a four on it. So that is six, three. Oh, that's become a four. Why didn't I see that? Seven or nine there. This is five or three. It's five. Oh, come on. Seven, nine, two. That is a five, four pair. It's a sort of naked pair in the box. Two, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So three and six get filled in. Eight, six, four. There's a nine there. Why can't I see that as well? Nine, two, seven there. One, five here. Six, three, four, eight, nine. As a, oh, what's happened there? I've gone back to a puzzle from the last. I don't know. Sorry about that. Oh, I've accidentally hit numlock. I hate that when that happens. Um, this is a pair. Three, five, six, and eight. It's got to be five, six, a consecutive pair. So it can't be five on the black dot. Uh, gosh, I have to just keep thinking about different things all the time here. It's getting quite strange. Four, five, right. So seven, eight pair there. One, two, seven. That's a naked two. Then we've got one and seven here. This is odd. And it is five or nine. So that's not two. And that's not eight. Ah, one, five. They're done. Eight, three, six, five. It's getting very annoying. That's a two. That's not. That's one now. That's two. Six, seven, nine. That's five or nine. So that's a weird pair. Two, four, eight, one, five. Oh my goodness. That's become a seven because of the two, four, eight triple, which is actually extremely helpful. 
So we get a five here. Can't finish off six, seven, and nine there. Now I can do six, seven here. Six, eight at the top. Three, nine in that one. This becomes a six. Seven, nine. I can't see how to do that. That's become a four. So eight, two there. This is now a nine, five. Okay, this is happening now. Seven and two. Four, eight, nine. That's a nine. That's a four. So we get eight, four, nine. This has become a one, finally. Seven, one, seven. And just seven and nine to go. There we go. That one's done. Sorry. I, um, yes, I jumped back. I think, to the last puzzle in the last set of gas that I did very strangely in the middle of that. Good, never mind. Um, now, we'll go on to, oh yes, this rank Sudoku. Ooh, don't know what to make of this. Never done a puzzle like this before. Let's have a go. So, that has to be less than four, so it's a one. That is a three, because it can't be two. Here, oh, no, that's number one, that's number two, that's number three, that's not all that helpful. Ah, oh, if one and two are in this cage, they and but one and two are in the box, they must be three, four, so this must go up in order. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is all done. Yeah, that was a useful spot now. How is that helping? That must be seven, because it's in a cage with a nine. And this one, oh, I should know the sequence, but I can't remember what I was saying. Well, that's actually, it's a naked five, isn't it? So that's an eight, nine pair, and we do know the order. Oh, I don't find, I do find this confusing. That can't be a one. Or a seven or an eight, given that it's number two. So that's a two. There is a one in the cage. Well, I kind of knew that. One, seven, eight there. Now the third biggest number can't be three or four. Excellent. So it's five. So the fourth is six. The fifth is seven. The sixth is eight. And the seventh is nine. Two, one, seven, eight, nine, five, four. Now that should have told me whether this is three or six. I think this is six. I hope I've got that right. Three there, five, eight here, four, six, and seven, of which the second one in the box is a six. Now that's very useful when you know the candidates for the cage when they're fully restricted. So, seven, nine, six, no, nine, six, five, two. These are from one, three, four, eight, seven, but none of them can be one because the number one in the cage is there. So that's three, four, eight, seven. That's quite a useful spot. Um, I'm going to take them out again because I want to be able to read these numbers un underneath. Three, four, seven, and eight. So that must be three and four don't quite know whether that is seven or eight, given that the bigger number appears there. Oh, the bigger number must be a nine. So that's eight, because it is bigger than seven. Right. So this is one or two, and this is five or six. It's difficult to keep track of this. Right, we need a one in this cage, and in this column, and a two. So they've got to be there. Nine must be the biggest, so that's actually quite straightforward. That makes this a one now. Two, seven, nine, one, four. Um, this is going to have to be a three. We're going to need a three in this cage. Five, six, or eight. That is five or eight. That is a six, actually. So we can do the rest of these just by Sudoku, thank goodness. Because I am finding this a bit confusing. That's a naked eight. Is this naked? Yes, that's a seven. So this is two, four, six. The highest number of those is a six. So this is an eight. Now here again we get the number two, seven, six. The second of those is a six. 
Um, and this is a two, so here it's no, one, nine, two, four, six, seven. The second of those is a six. Right. So I hope the rest will just be Sudoku because I'm finding the rule set pretty confusing. Three and four there. Five, one, three along here. That's difficult. I should probably use the rule set, but I'd rather do Sudoku, as I just said. Five and three, that fixes eight and five. I will just check this last box that I'm gonna finish off in a moment at the end. Five, one, three there. Okay, well it says it's good, and the second in the box is a three, and the third is a four in the cage. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that looks like it's the right answer, and only four and a half minutes, but wow, that's a head wrecker. I found that confusing. Now, let's move on to Sam's Arrow Sudoku and restart the clock. Let's go. Um, the three has to be two and one. That leaves four and five in the column to be on the nine arrow. This, in fact, is going to be six or seven down here. But we can't have a one on the arrow because one's on this arrow. Then we can put in seven there, five, nine pair. We've got one and three on this arrow. We must know the seven arrow. It must be two, five now. That fixes the nine, five pair. Six there because eight is there. This is a one, three pair that we can do now. That's going to look back across at the two, one pair which looks back at the two, five pair. Seven, three, one, four, five, nine. That's a naked nine. Two, six, eight, still going on there. This is a four, five pair that I can't resolve. So I'm gonna need, oh, this can't be one, five anymore. So it's got to be four, two. That means this isn't two, five or four, three. It's one, six like that. This one is obviously two, three. The three one's been resolved. Four, eight, nine up here with an eight in the middle of a four, nine pair. This is a two, six pair. This is a five, seven pair. That fixes four and five. What have we got? Nine and eight there. Four, seven, one though, they're resolved. Two, nine, four, five now. Six in the middle row has to go there. Oh, this has become a three from the box. That's not a six. Two, no. Oh, this pair, one, four pair. Right, that fixes the nine, four at the top. Three and six to go in the column. Oh, I've only got one digit left to go in column two. Then we get a one, nine, three. 387, can't do that yet. Uh, 3147. Ah, what am I meant to be doing now? Three here. 289 still to place. Okay, I'm looking at the central column. Yes, I need a three in that. Okay, eight there. So now I can do seven and three. Can I go the other side? Eight or nine? No, I can't. Two, eight or nine there. Uh, five in the central box is there. Seven in the central box is there. Then there's an eight, nine pair, which I can use in this column to give me a six. That place is six in column seven. Then I can do eight, two. Then I can do nine, five. That fixes my eight, nines, which are all I need to finish the puzzle, I reckon. There we go. So that is a quick time, three minutes and two seconds. I mean, it's a generous start, but I certainly found the right route through the beginning, I think. So thank you, Sam. Now, two more still to go. Thermoboros by Philip. Let's give that a go and start the clock. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five. These are both seven cell thermos. In fact, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Quickest way for me to see my way through this is going to be to pencil mark it. As long as that takes in the preparation, I think it's worth it. One, two, three there. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. Four, five, six. Five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight. Actually, I'm seeing stuff now. Seven, eight, nine. Right. 
we can't have an eight in those cells, so this is less. Um, now here, we can't have a six in either of those. So it doesn't do anything with that, but it does make this a nine. And finally, that gives us subtraction, right? Six, five, four, three, two, one. So that central circle is done. That does this, oh, it does all of it apart from the last cell, I reckon. Six, seven. Yeah, no, it does all of it, that's good. This now becomes an eight. This can't be five or six, so it's a seven. That's now a four, and that finishes off all the cells on all the thermos apart from this tiddly one. Right, one, seven, three, five. So that's a two, six pair. Nine there with a four, eight flanking it. Then we get a three and a one in the central row down this middle column. We've got five, three, and seven to place. Don't know how to do that. Surprisingly, um, right, three in column two is there, <clears throat> so that's a three, right, that is helpful, seven, five, this is one, three, or four, one, six, five, two, so that's an eight, seven pair, they're done, that's a three, nine pair, they're done, let's have a look at this box then, nine is there, one is there, and then we've got a two five pair, which I can't resolve, but they at least point me towards the six two resolution. Three eight six one four five. Why am I still looking at the same places I've looked before? <clears throat> One in row seven has to be there. Four three. Nine, I don't know. Three, four, nine, two. So that's a seven, that's a five. Then we've got a six, eight pair. So it really is just about good scanning this, which is probably playing to my strengths now. I've got a one, three pair, and that's a nine. That's gonna give me a nine there. That's gonna give me a nine here. Can I keep going with nines? Yes, they're all done. Marking the possibilities in row two. And they dwindle out at the end. That wasn't worth doing. Right, that's a two seven pair. <coughs> One eight must be there. Gosh, it just doesn't fall, this one. That's intriguing. That is a naked two. So up this column, we have five and seven. That fixes the two and seven pair. Five, six, seven, nine. Oh, by uniqueness, I know that's not one, three, but I'm not going to use that even in a gas puzzle. Seven must be there in box nine. We've still got five, four, and s How are these not resolved? This is so irritating. Right, let's look up at the top again. I'm probably missing something on the scan. Eight is in one of those two. One and three have to be down there. This is naked, is it? Seven, six, five, nine, yes it is, a four. Wow, that's easy to miss on the scan, I'm afraid. So I'm not shocked by that. Six, we get a one there. Three, one, that's gonna do three, one. What is this, a six, I think, with a two at the other end. That does five and two, two not zero. And we can put a five in down here. Four, come on, this must finish. Four, two, yes, five, six, eight, six, eight, and absent any mistakes, that's the finish. In, oh, one second under five minutes, 4.59. So again, it's pretty good. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that. It's a clever puzzle. Really, really interesting. Not a total giveaway, and now this Box battle. Oh, I feel a bit stretched today, I have to say. Right, let's restart. Okay, I want to do some Sudoku, because that's easier than whatever this is. That's very difficult to do in this. Um, okay, this is an interesting one. How are five and two going to be 
part of a winning force. This one loses to six, seven, or eight. So five has to beat something, one or four there. This has to beat whatever's below it. That's not easy to organize. Um, yeah, okay, how are two and four gonna win? Four can't win, again, four must lose. So two has to win against one. So that makes that a four. Then this has to win against that, which is easier. That can't be a one though. So we can place one in the row. That gets us a one there. Wow, this doesn't feel like genuinely approachable to me. It feels like a bit of a monster. Um, Sorry, that's the wrong type of one. Right, 9752, can that be an eight? Yes, that's the right way round. Now, oh, that's gonna lose to nine. So these two have to win. So that's a one or a two, and that is an eight or a nine. That is seven, eight or nine, and this is six, seven or nine. It's just not making a a triple for me. Now one is going to lose, so nine has to win. Ah, this is the key place to start, and two has to win against one. That's where I should have looked first. So that's become a two. Three or four, three or five, three or five. So the four is placed. Now here we have to win. Oh, it doesn't force this. Seven, one, six, right. Three, five, eight, nine. Oh, I don't know what to look for next. Eight, two, one, three, four. That is a naked six. Okay, so that's losing. So this must win. So this can't be eight. That's not six anymore. That is three or eight. Um, and this wins, but that's not hard to arrange now. Nine, two, seven, three, four. It can't be a one. So it's five, six, or eight. Now that's winning. That's fine. This is going to lose two, eight, or five, eight, or nine. So this has to win against this. Two, four, seven. So this can't be a nine or eight, actually. So that is three or five. Ah, which is a pair. So that's eight or nine. This is not, I don't know, maybe I'm just not approaching it the right way. I'm finding this very difficult. Oh, one's gonna lose, so eight has to be defeated, and so does seven. That's a really important set. Right, we've got a two seven pair there. That makes this a seven. Nine is there. That is three, four, or five, which is part of a triple, so that is six or eight. Four's losing, so one's not there. So one in the central box is there. This is a five. That's six or eight. Okay, so the right results are happening in this column now. I just want to, to become Sudoku. It's not doing that at all. Um, that this one is just easy. There's no problem there. Right, this one, three and four have to win now. Good grief. So, those are low, very low. But still, that doesn't actually resolve anything. Four's losing, that's got to win. Oh, that's become a nine, so it's going to win. That's now a nine. Now we've got four, seven, and eight in the row. <coughs> four, nine, six, seven, eight. That is two, three, or five. That's one, three, or five. Ah, oh, no, it's got to win. Two has to, that has to be a one. You know, I mean, it's all very well saying that the deductions are fairly straightforward when you spot which ones to make. That's true. But I wouldn't be surprised to see this as a Grand Prix puzzle. It is, it takes some, some working out. It really does. Five beats four, two's gonna lose. This one has to win. And it can't take on one, two, three, or four. So that's an eight. 
beating five, six, or seven. Oh, this has become eight. That's become seven. That's become six. That's five. This is two. Now maybe I can reduce this to Sudoku. Four, four. That's a three. Doesn't matter if that wins or loses. Um, this is now a seven. Two, nine, four, seven, one, five. So I can put in six, eight, three, and that box is done. Seven and three up here, it looks like. That's a six. Five and three there. Six and five. Two and eight at the top. That's an eight. Seven and one here. So that's all right. That can lose. No problem there. We've got a four, eight pair. This is five and nine. But three has lost. Right, so they both have to win. Seven, six, five, eight. Now, a four, nine pair here. Not like that. And a three, two pair here. And that should fix everything else I need. But that has really wrecked my head if it wasn't before. Crikey, six minutes, 31 seconds. I am hopeful that they're not claiming the two hat time is six and a half minutes or less, because that, that takes some seeing. Very interesting puzzle, but really, you couldn't call that trivial in any way. Very interesting. So a really interesting set of gas puzzles again from the from the gas giants who create them. Thank you so much to Clover, Sam and Philip as always. Thank you to you for watching. I hope you had a go at the puzzles and you didn't get your head all in a muddle solving them. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time on the channel. Bye for now.